What's up sports and health fans, Coach Frank here. Ever wonder what was my most popular episode in the last three seasons? Yeah, me too. Surprisingly, it wasn't what I expected. It turned out to be an interview with the two owners of Recruit Reels way back in season one. They run a service which makes video highlight reels for athletes looking to get the attention of sports recruiters. So since it went over so well, I thought I would have them back to find out what's new since everything changed back in 2020. And come to find out, the entire recruitment world is different. Maybe you have a kid who's looking for an opportunity or maybe you know someone who is. Either way, listen up, because I have another killer interview you don't want to miss coming up right after this. Let's do this. Game on, sports, fitness, and health fans, with another episode of the Sporting Good Posture Digital Radio Experience. Gear up for Coach Frank's advice from the sidelines as he helps you crush your game. No matter what sports, health, or fitness game you play. Hey, this is Coach Frank. I'm Sporting Good Posture. What are you sporting? Hey, Coach, what do you got for us today? Welcome back to another episode of Sporting Good Posture. And as usual, Coach Frank with you here with a return guest I know you'll enjoy and an interview that's not only interesting, but I think necessary too. It turns out my most popular episode ever was this guest and was all about getting recruited to a choice team. The world is a bit different since early 2020, and the world of sports recruiting has had to step it up. Well, this guy is doing it, and I'm going to let you in on the insider information. And I'll bring all that to you and more right after this message. We've all said it. We've all felt it. My feet are killing me. But did you know foot and ankle pain turn out to be more than just discomfort or inconvenience? That's why the Foot Leveler System is now part of the Posture Care Center at Ideal Health and Wellness. Whether you work on your feet all day or even if you're just up and down, your feet and ankles are part of your basic structure and mean everything to how you function throughout the day. The reason? posture. It's super simple. Most people think of posture as standing up straight, but don't realize that standing is part of it, making the feet and ankles just as important as the spine itself. Your feet and ankles are part of a blueprint Mother Nature designed for your most basic functions, making posture support from the ground up totally essential. Perhaps you found a pair of inserts from the store and maybe even got a little relief, but relief doesn't correct the problem. In fact, it ignores it altogether, making it all the worse. Even if the retailer allowed you to self-scan your feet. It won't take into consideration your specific posture and support issues. Going to a retailer or even a foot care professional may provide relief on the short term, but for the best support, overall posture needs to be evaluated. If your feet are giving you issues or if your overall posture just doesn't seem right, your next step is a Foot Leveler's 3D digital foot scan and posture screening at Ideal Health and Wellness Center. The Foot Leveler's program is designed to get at the postural issues that are blocking your ideal function and handle the trouble at its source. The result is a custom set of inserts that last years instead of months, customized to your foot and your current footwear too. But with foot levelers, you'll also have better posture, and with that comes better function. Don't wait. Generic inserts wear out, and so does your basic structure. Support your posture the way it was designed, customized to you. Get your foot levelers 3D digital scan and posture screening today free, and see where your future posture stands. Call 615 567 now. My next guest has been the production manager for four years at Recruit Reels, a group of seasoned professionals with sports backgrounds dedicated to showcasing high school athletes in their pursuit of college scholarships through high school recruiting videos. He leads day-to-day operations, working with clients on filming, editing, logistics, customer service, and other day-to-day operations, while also working hand-in-hand with a strategic partner. He has a degree from Middle Tennessee State University in electronic media production. My guest grew up playing a lot of different sports and played varsity baseball and basketball in high school. In college, he worked in the intramural department as a supervisor and helped in the training of referees for several sports. He enjoys working hand-in-hand with clients and helping provide them a simple and easy experience in creating a professional highlight or skills video for them. And it's my pleasure to welcome him back on the show. I'm real pumped to get into it with him. So please welcome to Sporting Good Posture, Jacob Cleaver. Welcome back to the show, Jacob. It's good to have you back. How are you doing today, Jacob? I'm good. I appreciate you guys having us back on. It's good to talk with you guys again, and uh, we're excited to be here. So going back a few years ago, I had met you, I think I met you at D1 when we were doing an, Mm -hmm. an event and they had some booths and everything there. And I was really interested in what you did and actually going back through you, your episode that we did with Christian was one of the, or the most 
listened to episodes that we've done on this show after we looked at, at the downloads on it. So I thought it would be great to bring you back and see kind of what the changes have been and, and after the pandemic and, and now what, re, you know, kind of what recruiting is now compared to was three or four years ago. We rem- I remember that and things have definitely changed uh, mostly for the good and everything, especially with uh, happening for the pandemic. And it, it has really affected student athletes uh, a lot, especially because when it first hit, there was, well, what was it? Spring season. All yeah. of those athletes didn't even get, they didn't get to do anything. Like everything shut down even through the summer. So they were doing a lot and that affected us to where we weren't really doing much because of it to where um, you would see student athletes like out in their garage or out in their backyard, just doing their own videos. Yeah. That's what I was wondering. I figured that um, kids, cause they couldn't play they, and they didn't have any highlight tapes. They would really have to figure out something to show these colleges. So when we talked a few years ago, I know we, we mostly talked about football, but what are you seeing now, like as far as other sports and, and um, have you been able to add other sports? And then on top of that, what are you doing to help them if they weren't able to get a lot of highlights of on-field production? So we've always done uh, all 23 NCAA sanctioned sports. We've done some that aren't. We've actually done esports uh, video for someone before who, you know, that's a big thing in college now. Um, so, yeah, we've we've always done all of those, but our big sports that we really focus on or not focus on that we do a lot of are soccer and then we do a lot of basketball and then football is more seasonal. So during the actual season, that's when we do a lot of the football. We'll do some right after, but it's kind of hard for them. It's, you know, they'll go and do showcases and camps and stuff over the summer, but that's right. like the one sport that after it's kind of done, it's, you know, it's not like you can go and do AAU tournaments or things like that. So they're once when we're in the season, we are, heavily focused on football um but throughout if i said the two sports throughout the entire year that we're we're constantly doing videos on it's soccer and basketball so that's something that we're very familiar with and we understand you know what college coaches are looking for all sports that we do is we have a good understanding of all of it and if there's a sport maybe per se like i'm not the best at wrestling so that's where I, can, I know things to look for, but I'll have Christian will help me out. He has a background in wrestling. And then we also try to have not on staff, but just on standby of like either a previous coach or previous athlete who's played that sport that if we're not super familiar with, we can reach out to and they'll help us in that process after we'll go through. And, you know, if we're picking out the plays, they'll help us make sure that we're highlighting the best plays. And with everything that's gone on during the pandemic, the one big thing that's we've done more of we did a good amount before but what we've done more of since the pandemic is like a skill session video because a we can control the setting and then like b is that a lot of these athletes we're doing these skill session for haven't had the chance to film you know they don't have those game highlights or if they do it's like they're a senior now and they're like i don't have anything since i was a sophomore it's like you're probably like at least you know, grown a good amount during that time. Some of these athletes are like six, eight inches taller and they're showing you like sophomore footage of them playing football or soccer. So where we can do a skill session where there's certain drills or activities we're going to do through a, you know, one to two hour session. And we usually have it where they have a coach come out or a parent come out and we run through certain drills for, so for like soccer, for example, we're going to do footwork. We're going to do uh, shots on goal. We're going to see them pass downfield. You know, if they're goalie, goalie in soccer is a big thing where even if you have game footage, there's a chance you may only touch the ball once. So that's to right. where we can, we can control that setting more. So since the pandemic, we've really seen that because even when things have been shut down, they've been able to, if it's us providing, we can't get a videographer out to them. We can provide them a detailed list of like, Hey, this is what you need to capture. And sometimes it's just like the mom and dad going out with the kid in the backyard and doing the type of um, shots we need, or they go to the local park that, you know, and just shoot it in the morning. So it is, that has been really beneficial to these athletes because they still have had the opportunity to talk to coaches. Recruiting is still happening. It's just they, especially the kids who are now like seniors, 
they've had kind of a, you know, like baseball, like even though baseball came back last year in some areas of the country, it was still very like limited on what they could do. So that has been a huge help for them because it has been able to allow them to continue to have that communication. And now, you know, they're kind of getting recruited maybe later on, maybe, you know, to start of the senior year, maybe typically going into senior year, they've got a couple offers or so. Now it's like, Hey, we're talking with this coach, you know, and we need to get his footage out as possible. And then the big thing, other than the skill session, the big thing we've seen, we've kind of had an uptick in trying to help do like live streaming events for athletes to where, you know, parents haven't been able to go to stands. So trying to help them, if the school doesn't provide it, try to help them provide that in some way, but also the turnaround time. So typically when we do a video, we do a video and once we receive all the footage, we'll have them a rough copy within two to three weeks. We've seen a large amount of athletes over the last uh, year and a half come to us and like, hey, can you have it to us like in the next four to five days? And that's just because when coaches are contacting them, they're needing something faster just because of the limited time they've had. So we've seen up to that. And that's the service we want to be able to offer everyone because we understand how important this is. And at the end of the day, that's our ultimate goal is to be able to help these student athletes achieve their dream and playing at the next level. So if that means, you know, we can help them, you know, if they can get us the footage and it means we get them out a video within the next week, you know, three to four days. We've had a handful to where like, can you have it to me like tomorrow morning? It's like, (laughs) yeah, it's like, uh, yeah, if you have the footage ready to go, like we'll make something happen for you. And we've had a handful of those and that's the appreciation that we've received from that has been, you know, you know, I played sports growing up and. I realized my sophomore year of high school that I wasn't going to make it to the major leagues and baseball. So being able to see, you know, hear the parents and even the athletes like tell, you know, reach back out to us afterwards and like, tell us like, Hey, we really appreciate you getting us that video so fast or all the work you've done. The coach really loved it. We're going out to meet with them, you know, once everything, you know, opens back up or, you know, we're having a a FaceTime or zoom or something with them later on once we're like this, eligible season for them to talk and like the appreciation that they they have for that like that means a lot to us you know we'll we'll do whatever we can to help them in that process that's interesting it, it has gone a lot more where you, you probably just had to set up these drills you know that i didn't even think of that like a goalie yeah it may only make a few saves a game so you really gotta do something on the side and show what the what the person can do in goal one of the things that we've talked about more lately, and I noticed with the pandemic, a lot of people started doing golf because it was something that was still open and it was outside. So it was one of the sports that was still available to do. Uh, have you seen an uptick in golf and an uptick in people going and trying to go to college to get recruited for uh, golf? We've gotten phone calls on that over the years. It's just a lot of parents haven't contacted us about that. That's a sport more that we've heard more from like the private coaches that do stuff. So that's a, different type of sport because you know we can't really go out and follow them and you know eight playing 18 holes yeah and golf is more of like that'd be more like a skill session like the times we have uh talk with parents and stuff like that that's what we've set up it's like all right like they're like well can you come film this match like what actually would be better is if we come out we do some putting drills some chipping drills and then just go put them on put you on the tee now we may not be able to track the ball but that's where coaches know like they can be able to tell from the swing, um, you know, the position of their hands, their form and everything like that. Like when we do baseball skill sessions, I don't track the ball. I put a camera, you know, I I put camera stationary behind and on the side because coaches are looking at the form. They're going to, they're going to see where their hips are, where their hands are, where their feet are. So we would do the same thing for golf. It's just, we haven't had, it's golf is a different world in that that aspect where a lot of them are kind of close knit. Um, So we've gotten calls and everything from it, but professionally we just haven't had that many. We would love to do more because we know how we could help in that aspect. It's just, it's a different world, but uh, yeah, I've definitely just personally looking, you know, following sports and everything like that. I have seen more people because like you said, you can go outside or, you know, go to a giant field and just be able to practice that, especially during the pandemic to where, you know, it's, if you're by yourself, it's it's a little easier to do things. The good thing is you guys know what these coaches are looking for. You know what kind of drills that need to be done and, and skills that need to be performed so they can really get a good look at the athletes. 
and get an idea of what they can do and then see kind of where maybe their strengths or weaknesses are just by, like you said, looking at their hands and their, their contact point on the ball rather than the flight of the ball afterwards. With the skills videos uh, are too, is it's kind of to get you in the door. And it's the same thing with the highlight videos is that this has kind of helped to get you in the door, solidify that you are, you know, the type of athlete you are, but they're eventually, you know, once as the more conversations and stuff you have, they're going to try to come to a live game. It may not be the head coach. It may be an assistant coach. It may be a graduate assistant, but they're going to eventually be able to come and see you live. And this is the, the, you know, the show that you're actually like, Hey, I can hit a ball, you know, 300 yards. And you know, so these are kind of the help you in that process. She's like, hi, my name is, but, and then you've got to, you know, eventually back it up. And a lot of the athletes we work with, most of them do like when they get that chance, that opportunity, um, they have that experience where they do get the coach to come out or they get more footage and the coach is able to view it because especially with during the pandemic coaches weren't able to travel. So they were relying heavily on, on the highlight videos. And then we did a lot of where the parents would send us a full game, especially with hockey. They're like, Hey, the coaches can't come out. They don't want to see the hour and a half game with, you know, because a lot of these where they're in a a ice rink, a hockey rink, they're filming even during the, uh, you know, intermission periods and stuff like that to where they're like, the coach isn't going to, you know, oh, it takes through all this stuff. they're like, can you take out shift, you know, two, three in the first uh, period and shift fourth or six. So we'll do that because coaches are asking, they're asking more for like, especially in hockey, like the shifts. So we always try to do in our highlight videos is the, you know, the first 10 plays of the top 10 to 15 plays, you know, your sports center type plays, but we're also looking for the hustle plays to where, you know, say it's football and he, uh, athlete, busted down the field to they're they're about to score interrupts the you know the running back about to go into the end zone and then another person's trailing behind two and is able to tackle them right at the goal line coaches love to see those plays because they're hustle plays they're you know they've got the awareness of what they're supposed to be doing the knowledge of the game so the um coaches want to be able to see more of a game so we'll be getting parents send us you know say the school film that and they're like hey can you just like send us the first quarter so we'll clip out so we've had a lot of things like that over the last year and a half too because coaches haven't physically been able to do it i think it was just like six or eight months ago they opened it up to where they could kind of start traveling again but still then it depends on where you live and everything and you know coaches are also talking the in some cases thousands of students so sometimes sending them a quarter or sending them a half the coaches can also see okay what do you do when you're not on the ball what do you do like how are you preparing for like baseball okay like are you you get in your stance before every, you know, the pitcher throws the pitch or you just stand in there, you know, twiddling your thumbs. So coaches, coaches like to see that. And we've been, we've done a good more, a good bit more of that to help these parents and the athletes in that process. I think that what I've taken out of the last year is that the, just everything's changed really. And sports has changed too. So it's great that you guys are changing with that because I find when these kids are doing this and they don't have a way to contact these coaches or or a way for the coaches to see them, they, they got to get them somehow. And a lot of times having something that was taped just themselves isn't always that great. So it's good that you guys can edit it instead of having the whole game there. You can just send the pieces that they need that are the most important from the game. When COVID first, you know, hit and the pandemic started, we didn't, you know, get a call for because everyone, everything was just up everything in the air. Stopped. Yeah. And, you know, they're still worried about like, oh, where's my kid going to go to college? But they're also like, I need to make sure my family's healthy, all of that. So we didn't we didn't really get anything for a while. But while we were doing, we just didn't sit and wait and just like, all right, like, hey, you know, our ultimate goal still was we want to help student athletes. What is a way we can do it? And that's to where we kind of we had the skill session thing beforehand. We kind of just amplified it up a little bit. And that's also where we didn't really think, you know, the first time we did just cutting out quarters and stuff, a yeah. parent said, Hey, yeah, coaches emailed me and they asked if I could send them like the quarter. I don't know how to do that. And then we're like, Oh, and then we had another one a couple of weeks later. So that's where we were like, when parents would contact us, they're, we would like, Hey, if this is something you need to just let us know. And that, you know, that's, it, that's something we can get out to you faster. You know, if we are taking two weeks at your highlight video and the coach is like, well, can you send me just like, quarters in the meantime the parent would send us that we'd have it back to them within you know within like 24 hours because that's a little bit easier process because when the reason why it takes us a little bit longer when we're doing the highlight video is that 
you know, one, we have multiple athletes at a time, but we're also like, we're, we're not, you know, just like, Oh, here's a good play. Just pick it out. We're like, we're watching it. I, when I go through and watch a game, I watch the entire game. I make, I make my notes and everything. And then I rewatch it like two, you know, maybe two or three more times because I, and I'm picking out, it's like, okay, this is, but I, I just narrow everything down. And if we have a, you know, a 24 hour turnaround time, I kind of pause everything. I'm still our, if I'm working on it, I'll pause it. If not, I have, you know, we have other people that help us in this process where it's like, all right, Hey, can you solely just watch this game? And that's where having, you know, good, the people who we work with and the people that work for us who have a good understanding of all of this and I can trust to be able to do it. And they, at the end of the day, like our goal is still the same to where helping these athletes. And so when the pandemic started, it was even more now because it's like, I still wanted to be able to help just because, you know, it's these kids are trying to decide what they want to do in life. This is their future. So it's something we really took the heart and made sure that we helped out as much as we possibly could. So What's your best advice for these athletes getting recruited and what kind of things do you recommend that they, that they do where they'll get a better chance at, at being recruited? We try to somewhat stay away from that after like, you know, Hey, this is what you do in the recruiting process. We have tips and stuff. You can find on our website, everything like that. Yeah. Um, 99% of the people who contact us are parents, the, the kids in school, the kids got sports going on. The kid also works a part-time job. You know, they, they could do, you know, the, the video they need done, but it's like, I don't have time to do it. A lot of these parents are like, I don't have time to do it. So that's yeah. where we're here to help you in that process, make it as simple and easy for you as possible, as stress-free, everything as well. But the one thing I tell parents is that being just communicative. So like if a parent, if a coach says, hey, send me a highlight video uh, so we can review it. I, I always tell parents this is that if they tell you that, like don't wait like a month to send it because they've also told a hundred other kids to send it. If so I get, I get a phone call at least once a week where a parent tells me that it's like, all right, because you told me like, let's not, just, let's not wait, like give me the footage as soon as possible. So just being punctual about it and being responsive. That's it with anything. Look in life. For that. Is that, yeah, yeah. Anything, anything in life is if you can be responsive and a clear line of communication, because they're going to be looking at these athletes through the highlight video but they're also going to be, you know, reviewing you and scouting you on how communicative you are, how professional you are, of like that clear line of communication. If you say, hey, coach, I'll have it to you in a week, two months later, you get them a highlight video. They're going to look at that and it's like, OK, brilliant on the field. But what does that say about this kid off the field? What does that say? You know, if he's telling me he's practicing every night, is he actually practicing every night or I yeah, it makes them like, think about your work yeah. ethic. So, so those are the type of things I tell parents is that, you know, That's you're going to have point. recruiters out there who can help you actually, you know, get in touch with these coaches or, you know, self-recruit yourself. Or, you know, a lot of these parents are doing it themselves to where they've had someone who has already gone through the recruiting process. Like, here are the things you need to do. But like from our standpoint, if you can just that clear line of communication and, you know, I was always right. My, my dad and mom always taught me your word is your bond. If you tell a coach one thing, you, you know, tell us that, like, if you're okay with the two to three week turnaround time, awesome. If you say, Hey, I need it tomorrow. I need it next week. We're going to do whatever we can to help you because one that reflects on us. Like we want, you know, we want to be able to help us out. We want to be able to have that parent tell another parent, like how we were able to help them. But, we, at the end of the day, it's going to affect that athlete more. So just that clear line of communication, that's the biggest thing we can tell athletes is, you know, if, if you tell a coach one thing, let's get it done. It's funny. I was thinking back, I played a bunch of sports in high school and, and I really wanted to go play football in college. And I tell you, it was a pain to try to send schools tapes. You know, this is back when it was on VHS tape, really, for the mm -hmm. most part. So I remember trying to figure out ways like I ended up just kind of sending a tape that had some multiple games and I would just kind of have the tape on the spot of one of those games um, to show the most out of me. So the coach didn't have to go rewind or fast forward yeah. through a lot of things to find me. And I, I was remembering how, how tough that was to do that and figure out, the process at all. And I, I would have loved to have a service like this back, back, you know, years ago when I was playing, but even now, so even if, even if you have the footage, it's still hard to know how to get it to the right spots, how to, how to edit it properly, 
So there really is a lot of value in what you guys do. And, and I admire what you do and, and helping people because that at the end of the day, just like me, you know, I'm a chiropractor. I help people with weight loss and, and their spine and everything. Um, I do this to help them. And if they don't get better and if I don't, you know, get a good reputation on helping them, then you know, nobody's going to come in my office. So same thing with you guys. Like when you get those tapes out within a short period of time like that, they, I know they appreciate that and they'll talk about it and tell their, their friends and families about it. The recruiting process is constantly revolving, especially now with the, the NIL deals. I think that's, yeah, that is cha- that's going to change the college recruiting landscape so much. It's already starting to affect it because, you know, athletes are looking at more than just like the program, what the coach can provide, you know, the type of the scheme they play. They're also just like, all right, is this an area that maybe I could, you know, get a little bit more money, you know, for one of those type of deals. Yeah. And, so, and that that's really going to change. And that's something that parents and athletes are going to focus on now. Will it affect us as much? Like it's not going to change how I edit a video or anything like that. Like I'm still going to try to highlight the athlete as best as we possibly can. But that will uh, affect how parents look at everything and and especially the athletes and also how the like, schools recruit and everything like that. So it, that's that's something that, you know, over the it's still kind of, you know, fresh that. But in some of these classes are just now, you know, going into the recruiting side of after the deal. Right. But it will it will affect everything. And, you know, it'll be interesting to see how that all plays out over the next couple of years. That's a great topic um, that we can come back to. You know, yeah. we'll have you on again at some point and then we can talk about that because that is a big part now that these these kids can get endorsements and and things like that that they normally couldn't get before. That opens up a whole new door for, for these kids. Um, yeah. So how do people get in touch with you? Like, do you guys have Instagram, Facebook? Uh, we're on Facebook. We're on Twitter. We're on Instagram. We're probably the most active on Facebook because... 99% of our clientele are parents. Uh, kids have school, sports, all that stuff. It's They've got a lot on their plate, especially for being teenagers. So you can find us on Facebook. You can find us on Twitter, Instagram. Um, our website is recruitreels.com. You can reach us at our phone number at 833-473-2784. You can go on our website and look at all the packages. You can look at all of our previous uh, athletes highlight videos to kind of see how we edit uh, what we do in that aspect. And then we also have a, an option on there to where when you go on our website, if you want to request information, you can put a little bit of information about what your athlete does. Uh, if you need us to come out and film those type of things and we get those and try to respond again as soon as possible, either through email or personally giving you a call. Awesome. Well, thank you for sharing that with us. It was great having you on again. I look forward to doing another one with you and we'll, we'll have plenty of things to talk about with all the changes that are going on in sports right now. We definitely appreciate you having us on. I had a great time. It was great talking with you guys and talking about how uh, everything this pandemic's calls. And I know, I know this probably affected you with your um, chiropractic business. And that's the one thing when we met you is that like kind of you caught our eyes, the fact that you did this stuff for the high school athletes and I played baseball in high school and stuff. I wasn't any good. I thought it was incredible, but, uh, (laughs) (laughs) Uh, but that's one of those things, especially with how things are today. If like the training and everything, everything you do for these athletes, that's what caught our eye because there's not, you don't hear a lot about like how that can help you in the long run. Once you get done 40 years from now or whatever, how do you want to feel? Take the precautions now, take the, you know, self-care now and that stuff to, you know, make your life later on better. So now that's, that's what caught us about it. We follow your work. We see everything you guys are posting and we've told, told you about your services, some athletes local that we've talked to. And I definitely appreciate that. We have noticed over the last four or five years, I've seen more student athletes, you know, middle school, high school, and, we've been able to help a lot of them stay healthy so that they can go to college and play sports. I find a lot of these injuries happen in either middle school or high school that linger, that turn into um, lingering injuries where they end up not being able to play in college because they never got better from that first injury. So we've been able to help a lot of kids either recover from injuries or just stay healthy where they don't really get injuries badly and stay on the field more. Cause that's the other thing is coaches are looking for you to be, strong and have endurance where you're able to be playing in, in all the games and not miss a bunch of games because of injuries that, you know, they're less likely to get a scholarship 
because of that. And it could cost you, you know, hundred grand, 200 grand of money, or sometimes more with these endorsements. Now, if you're a good athlete and, and they want to market you. Um, so it's worth keeping your body healthy. Cause that's, that's the machine that, that gets you, that gets you going, gets to the production. Uh, yes, sir. I completely agree. Keeping your mind and your body healthy, especially at a young age. And as you get older, it's going to help you in the long run. Absolutely. Well, it's good talking to you again. And, and I look forward to talking to you, do another interview in the future. Yeah. Thank you guys again. And we appreciate it and hope you guys keep doing what you guys are doing. Thanks a lot. And make sure you go way back to season one, way back in April of 2018 to hear Jacob's previous interview on the show. Again, it was my most downloaded episode, so you should check it out. You can go to it directly at sportinggoodposture.com slash recruit reels. That's about it for today. Meanwhile, I'm recruiting for Team Frank, people who want to win at their game, whether it's sports, fitness, work, or just life-related. If you haven't given yourself a self-posture check, whether you're an athlete or not, it's important. Check yourself in the mirror and look for those imbalances, then reach out to me. You can hit me up on Instagram at Sporting Good Posture and on Facebook at Ideal Health and Wellness Center, or even just give me a call directly at the office at 615 567 6683. Tell me what's going on and I'll tell you what I think. I'm always standing by on the sidelines to give you the advice you need to win, no matter what game you decide to play in life. Remember, the coach's door is always open. This is Coach Frank. I'm Sporting Good Posture. How about you? The Sporting Good Posture Podcast is a broadcast wellness production powered by Ideal Health Wellness Center. All content copyright 2021. All rights reserved. Executive producer, Frank Sardella. Coach Frank appears courtesy of Ideal Health Wellness Center in Franklin. For more information, visit SportingGoodPosture.com and follow Coach on Instagram at SportingGoodPosture. Yo, I see a lot of changing going on out here. (laughs) I've seen changes. <laughs> changes how you feels about me and how I feels about you. <laughs> Everybody can change. <laughs> nice. I hope you're still recording. I did that for a I am. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get-